faithful and wise steward. And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward who his Lord shall set over his household to give him their portion of food and due season? Luke 12, 42. Every day is a gift from God. How we use 24 hours of each day is a matter of practicing sound stewardship. Heaven is keeping record of what we do during our daily routines and everyone is accountable for the gifts God has given. Jesus' parables Jesus refer to the subject of stewardship. Generally speaking, we have time, talents, and treasures to manage on this earth. As we are faithful in the little, we will be given much more. As we mature in our stewardship, we learn to value time. For example, people who are early morning risers accomplish much during the day. Our character is displayed by the way we honor God with our time. Today, our phones have the ability to track our daily screen time. It has never been so clear how much time we waste on trivial things like social media and video games. The average person wastes so much time that it's so valuable. It is now normal to see family members engaging with media content while the dinner table is set. A good steward of time is very conscious of these traps. According to scientific community, the average person has the capacity for multiple intelligence. Indeed, we all have very unique talents to develop and share. Typically, people who invest time to develop their talents often find ways to share them for the benefit of the community. In the parable of talents, Jesus tells us that the individual with more talents invested very well and produced more. Later, he was even rewarded with the talent of an unfaithful steward. Therefore, heaven rewards those who honor God with their talents. The Bible tells us that the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Our perspective on our financial treasure defines our spirituality. Money is an exchange to acquire needs and wants. And how we use our money is an indicator of spiritual health. Jesus spoke much on financial stewardship. It is worth noting that the mismanagement of money is now the second most common reason why married people divorce. Money management is a struggle for even the nicest people. Bad money habits can lead people to despair and eventually ruin. A good store of money follows God's principles. If you are a daily reader of Proverbs, you will find insightful principles on how to manage your life and money. It is all about honoring God with the way you use your time, talents, and treasures. As you read your Bible and apply kingdom principles, your life will be meaningful, fruitful, and filled with purpose.